Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back, my lovelies. Nice to see you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for your donations. They are truly appreciated. And thank you for your emails, your emails of confirmation, your emails just sharing your stories, and emails booking readings. My readings are open. There is a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time for my readings. However, if you do need something a bit speedier, I do offer an emergency service which goes out within 12 to 24 hours. I am also advertising a raffle that I'm doing in which you can win a live reading with me. I will only do live readings through raffles. Um, all of the proceeds go to charity. They go to the Hospice Thames or Thames Hospice, excuse me. I'm also walking with my dog to raise money for them. If you look into the description box down below, you can see um, how many tickets are left. If you, if this is something that resonates with you and you'd like to buy a raffle ticket, they are six pounds and that's seven dollars twenty twenty two cents. Um, have a look at what numbers are available. Just make sure that when you PayPal me, that you put down the number that you'd like to have. On the 30th of April, I will be doing a tombola to pick out three lucky winners. And in the first week of May, I will be doing live readings. Exciting stuff now. Please ignore any messages that come through through my comment section saying that they're drawn to you, WhatsApp them, solicitating for money. Even if it is a message from me, if there is no highlighted black banner, then it's definitely not me that you're talking to. Okay, the only way to book a reading is that you contact moi. Um, now, the energy that I pick up on is uh, fluid. It's timeless, meaning that I can be picking up on past, present or future energy and sometimes an amalgamation, a mixture of all three. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If I say he, she, masculine, feminine, male or female, remember that we all hold these energies. We have both. Um, so this reading could be for you. It could be for the person you're thinking of, to find counterpart or someone completely different. Please do not make the story fit if it doesn't. Remember, this is a general reading and not a personal one. Um, if there are no messages in this reading for you, please have a look at some of the other ones on my channel. If you can't find anything, it means either the messages aren't for you right now or you could benefit from having a personal reading. Now let's get into this. There's some sort of fortune that's ending for someone. Okay, I heard, a, I heard there's an ending to finance. And let's find out what does it mean that an ending to finance okay so you've got gemini oh it's the talk of the town it's the talk of the town and you've also got libra you've got double gemini coming out and it says here uh gemini star signs are versatile chatty creative and perceptive they are known as the skilled communicators of the zodiac okay so you've definitely got someone here and do you know what the thing is when i'm looking at this as well and i think of a gemini it's not only that they're creative and they're, they're, you know, they're chatty. That perceptive there is that they will look at both sides of the story. Someone here is wanting the story that they've been told to be seen in a different light or they're trying their hardest to keep it from being seen a certain way because underneath you've got Libra, okay, balancing of the scales. Something is being brought to a head. There is some sort of um, payment or abundance that's been taken away from someone, okay, because of what they've done. Mm, and then underneath you've got Scorpio, and this person was trying to keep it very, very quiet. You've also got Aries, okay. Aries is the first house, so it's how you are seen. It's, you know, how people perceive you, your identity, or the natural mask that we wear, almost like when you think of a sun and moon sign. You know, the sun sign is what you see, the moon sign is internalized. But with this, it says direct, forthright, and quick to act. Someone acted too quick. Someone's looking back at something that they did, and they may have got quick to temper, and they did something that is now effing them up now, legally, legally. I don't know why I'm in a very funny mood today. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. Let's have a look-see. We have got here Capricorn and Uranus. I thought this was to do with work. If someone's had some sort of sudden departure from an old job, if you had issues with, you know, colleagues or with management or just something didn't sit right and either you were made to leave or you left or it was unfair dismissal or something along those lines, something was done at work, okay? I'm getting very much a clicky 
if you worked somewhere there, there was you or the person you're thinking of and it was very clicky and it was almost like you had to prove yourself to be part of the circle or you were never really in the circle if that makes sense this reading may be for you because it says on here where uranus is in your birth chart helps you understand sudden changes or shifts in your personal life as well as in the world okay so there's definitely something big has been the thing is as well what i'm getting from this energy is that especially with uranus coming through this isn't just a shock to them it's going to be a shock to you but in a positive light whereas for them it's a comeuppance because you've also got capricorn here so this is to do with money this is to do with workflow it's your fame it's your recognition so someone here was chatting your name because you've got scorpio they were doing it very privately and someone here was in their feels about you i heard threatened you've got sagittarius and you've got capricorn coming out again so this could have been a capricorn talking about you or it could have just be a this is in reference to work and sagittarius okay it was something to do with um your faith your philosophies and because i heard you inspired others and they were very jealous of this they didn't like how easily you can socialize with other people you may not be an extremely sociable person that doesn't mean that you don't know how to connect to other people but you may like to keep your energy to yourself but in a workplace you know how to connect you know how to communicate okay and i heard gravitas and someone here did not like this and they there was definitely spreading rumors or talking about you behind your back if i put this one here there's something has come to them i don't know what they did but there's something here about them being told not to mess around with you and they did anyway because underneath you've got pisces something came to an end for them i had a business a business venture went wrong because it says pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac and is represented by two fish swimming in opposite directions there's something here with them expecting some sort of offer sorry my dog is again nesting She's in a nesting phase at the moment, so she likes to dig and move my blankets everywhere. But with these two fish going in an opposite direction, this person was forging forward to try and do something because I had an abundance spell. And it went wrong, or it was working for a certain amount of time. I don't know if they did something or used their hand to make you to help you leave. But it was for their benefit or to get you fired or to, for you to end up with a disciplinary something along those lines okay leo this person is and the thing is i'm looking at the moment because of this person having toxic traits i will only be looking at the shadow aspects of what's coming out so this person was very prideful this person saw themselves as being very creative they wanted to be the center of attention um but i heard they were very mothering or very fathering okay i don't know if that's something that they projected when they were at work to get people to like them because i heard a know it all i don't know if they thought you they saw you as a know it all anything else that wants to come out yeah cancer this person's definitely in their feels definitely i don't know if they spoke to family members about you yeah leo and then underneath here you've got venus is where the planet of love and material possession excuse me venus is the planet of love and material possessions where it is in your chart can help identify how you were influenced in the matters of the heart this person was very very sneaky and very manipulative because even if it's nothing to do with the esoteric this person was trying to see what things were close to your heart how you were triggered how you became emotionally volatile okay and they were very detailed in kind of looking into that and i heard what a bitch and that's irrespective of gender it says here virgos are usually conscientious analytical and clever they strive for perfection can often be hard on themselves you've got to remember that the sixth house is also to do with your work ethic it's your work routine it's your workflow okay and i don't know if they try to do something to affect your health stress you out so much that you wanted to leave the job that you were in this person is horrible aren't they but then you've got aquarius coming out so i don't know if they had social circles of people who also manipulated others or they just had because i keep hearing clicks whoever it is that they worked with they were very clicky with them outside of work as well aquarians are known as the eccentrics of the zodiac they are free thinking idealists who love technology and innovation they can also be quite aloof and private this person didn't like the fact that you were in the same industry or that you had the same ideas but you could um what's the word you completed them and kind of created them better the results were better when it came from you and like i said you have this natural gravitas people come towards you i don't know if you're the type of person that 
you know strangers you might say hello to someone at a bus stop and they want to tell you their entire life it's that kind of energy and this person had to work very very hard to wear a certain mask for people to get even halfway as interested in them as they were in you okay well tell me more about this legal jazz which one do you want to take that one there let's have a look at what's going on legally for them because what did they do and oh they're looking for guidance they're literally they may be suiting up with a lawyer because they've done something illegal okay especially if you left a job because of workplace bullying harassment you know crappy managers whatever that may be there's something that's coming back on them now and it says on here communication there can be a, dis a disconnect between the message we are giving and what someone hears this is more or less i don't know if somebody here has been doctoring emails or doctoring communication of some sort to kind of back themselves up when you left to say it was amicable or something along those lines. You've also got Raphael and it says guidance. Sometimes the answers to our most vital questions come in thoughts, feelings and dreams. So you're being told if you've been through something like that, if you've been through like an ordeal where you just work somewhere where it was completely toxic, whether that's from the top all the way down or just the, the, the lower rung and the management did nothing, whatever that personal experience is for you, whatever inclinations you had at the time, OK, whether that's the managers gunning out for you or it's this or that, you're being told to trust your intuition. And when you look back now um, in hindsight where, you know, you've been able to process those emotions and, you know, that energy of grief or loss, because we go through that when we go through such a big change. Go back and have a look at that. Does your intuition still tell you that? Because if it does then you've got Archangel Raphael here who's telling you because Archangel Raphael is the, the angel of air of, you know, of communication that whatever your heart space was telling you then was right, was right. OK, and I put it over here. Yeah, look at this communication. And that's all to do with your emotions. And then you have over here guidance. You're being told to, to stick true to your discernment and your intuition okay because you've also got here motivation and then passion your happiness never depends on one personal thing chamuel so this is also letting you know that that was kind of like a bit of a test going through that and it wasn't just a test for you it was a test for the other person the person who was trying to get you fired or was, was you know harassing or bullying you they failed they literally failed it was a heart space test and you've got on here zadkiel long-term goals are great but we often reach them in tiny steps, set achievable goals. This person did not like the fact that you had um, almost like that Aquarian energy of thinking outside of the box. Ooh, we, and this person has stuck themselves. But I'm getting with Zadkiel because Zadkiel is an archangel of the um, ultraviolet flame. Okay, he's used very much for um, especially working with Kuan Yin and Master Saint Germain, it's a very protective energy. It's a very loving energy. It's a very, um, an energy to help strip and remove grudges, anger, things along those lines, evil eye, okay? And you've had a lot of purple coming out. This person, if this person isn't like a secret witch or something, this person is very an, um, apt with manifesting both negative and positive. But what I'm getting is this person negative they uh, manifest uh, negative things on others to receive positive positivity they're like a siren or a succubus tell me more now you've got on here protection you might be rejected but you've come through worse the potential rewards are worth it yeah so this person was definitely this wasn't even just about a job though this wasn't even just about a job because I keep hearing a side hustle. This person may have had entrepreneurial um, like dreams and things like that, but their business wasn't doing very well. And this was not just, I want to get you fired. I want you to leave or I want this job to be the worst possible thing for you. There was something here because I keep hearing harnessing or accessing your power. And we've had a lot of heart space come out. So I don't know if when you were working there, you are the person you're thinking of. Because this may be presently happening or it may have happened in the past. Because I heard future and then a big X. This is not coming to be. This has already happened. This person was trying to have you off kilter. Because there was something here about the way that they energy harvest from others with that abundant spell. It's keeping people in stress and keeping people in doubt. And there was a reason why their business was failing. Okay. 
because look you've got heart space upside down because their heart space is always off kilter and it says sometimes things we thought lost come back to us whatever it is that this person took energetic wise is coming back to you and not only that because this they and with retrieval upside down this person has lost their business may have failed by now because you've got healing upside down as well and it says here challenging circumstances must be nav navigated with wisdom so this person, I don't know what they've done when it comes to, because this is to do with business and work, okay? This is a colleague that you may have worked with previously. This person has a side hustle. If you have a side hustle or you have like this, you know, um, hobby that you like doing that you want to turn into a business or you're in a certain industry and you're trying to move from one department to another or you're trying to get that promotion, this person here has been doing this not only to you but to other people that they thought were easy targets and something has happened there's something here about the way that you've been healing your heart space the way you've been pouring love into it the way that you're centering yourself especially when you're returning to sender because you know you can return to sender with the same anger that they have and then it's just a tit for tat you know but when we're sending it back going this isn't my energy send it back in the same energy match it's not mine but i'm doing it from a very centered place without hate without malice i just don't want it it's going back and it's it's really messed up their business plans they had some sort of offer that was waiting for them and because this has been sent back continuously that offer's been taken back that offer's been taken because you've got archangel Uriel wisdom try considering try considering a situation from a new perspective and without judgment what was I just saying about return to sender? Okay. You've got Capricorn, Capricorn. Whatever that tower was for you or the person you're thinking of in regards to work, especially one that turned sour, and it may have been sour from the, the day that you stepped into that job and you were just like, oh, I'm going to have to write this out. And that was a life lesson. That was a tower that was placed on your path because the universe was saying you're going the wrong way. You shouldn't be working there. You should be over here, okay? And I heard no matter how uncomfortable that is, whether it is this job or where you are presently, where you are is, is, is where you're supposed to be is what I'm getting, okay? Because you've got gratitude upside down. And it says others touch. Others touch us in ways they can't imagine. Write a thank you letter to someone. This per oh my gosh, this person is angry. They're blaming you. They're literally blaming you for creative blocks as well. Because there's something here, I don't know if this person has a little black book, a grimoire, something that they write for manifest, manifesting. And I saw a book going up in flames. There's something that they wrote in here. There's something they wrote in here that they use for manifesting to steal from others. And they wrote something about you. And there was a point in which after you left this job, they got, they got some sort of upsurge in, um, in their clients and whatever their side hustle was. But then you started doing return to senders and things slowly started to go awry for them. Okay, because the more you're speaking your truth, the more it's knocking them down. Because look at all those arrows coming out the back. That's Archangel Michael right there. It says taking an honest look inside means admitting your own mistakes. I'm putting it here. So someone definitely did go through a dark night of the soul around this time. And it's something about, especially with this sudden shift. It may have changed your perception on yourself, on kind of like the esoteric. Going through a spiritual awakening can really rock us to our core. And when we're going through something major like this, and let's say we haven't had a spiritual awakening before, or we've had one, but we are human and it's human to error. And sometimes we dip into our shadows when we're going through, you know, traumatic experiences. There's something here with looking back and realizing that that sudden shift was actually for us. And it brought us closer to our own truth. And in doing so, it's helped to heal someone's heart space here, which has brought in a lot more protection. Okay. And you've got forgiveness here. Staying angry is easy. It's letting go that takes work. So whoever this person is, is very angry at themselves as well. They're still blaming you and going, I wish I could take, I wish I could take. But they're now kind of like in regret because they're realizing that whatever it is that they did 
wasn't just an esoterically i'm going to do an abundance spell there's something that they've either said to certain people at this workplace or there's emails going between people that they thought would say stay hush hush okay but that truth is coming out and they're worried because you've got retrieval upside down and they can't get them they can't get these messages well 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 when the shit hits the fan it hits the fan and look you've got hope upside down and it says here love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts and it's upside down so this person's definitely an energy harvester and they definitely work with a more volatile energy to do so because they're not doing this off their own back you've also got lady portia divine order do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding boom look at that this is also a reminder for you because whatever's happening over here with these legal issues at some point it's going to be touching into your life you know whether that's esoterically whether that's on this plane and this realm Okay, but something's going to be coming forward about this, whether that is, I don't feel like it's just going to be like an email going, you know, from your bosses, we got this wrong, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's something else. There's something legal because I heard they have to contribute to some sort of pay. Someone here may have not been paid as well. I'm getting Joan of Arc, voice of truth, standing strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Okay, and I heard for someone here, it may have been whistleblowing. If you had a policy at work about whistleblowing, and the thing is, in the UK, like I worked with children for 21 years, and we have a policy, and there's still a policy on whistleblowing, which is where if you go, if you see something that you know, or you think that isn't right, or it breaks a code of conduct, or the child's safety is put in danger, or whatever it may be, as small or as grand, you have the right to go and report them to your management. You have the right, if management does nothing about it, to go over their heads to their management. And if they do nothing, you have the right to go to Ofsted, which is the governing body for all educational services, okay? But also that policy is put in place so that there is no uh, discrimination put against the person who whistleblows. Now, I don't know if someone here whistleblowed, if they saw something that they thought, this is dodgy and I need to report it, and either nothing was done about it and it was covered up, or you were treated, you or the person you're thinking of, was treated in a really disrespectful way for doing your job, okay? Because with this here, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. And then, you know, do what you feel is right and important lesson is unfolding. If this is happening to you right now, again, I'm not a lawyer. I am not a, you know, a therapist. I'm not a doctor. But the message that's coming through is do the right thing. And let, the, let the chips fall where they may, especially if you know that that is going to um, save somebody else. If it's going to help somebody else from not being hurt, especially. Okay, because you've got here, Paul the Venetian, and it says, experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace, waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. This person over here, they may have done something that they're now being outed for when it comes to how your job ended, okay, whether that's to do with pay as well. Something's being brought to the forefront in a legal matter, okay, and you've got Lady Nada, and it says, heart awakening. This person is vexed. Oh my gosh. Awaken to the acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. So this person may be actually having, they may need, need mental health support. And again, remember, I'm not a therapist. And if you feel like that resonates with you, please make sure that you are reaching out to the, the professional um, sectors within mental health for that. But you, this person, there's a lot of heart space coming out here. If this person was attaching to other people's heart spaces, okay, whether that's through abundant spells, like toxic abundant spells, or whether that was actually through group gossip, through slander, through that clicky kind of getting people to ostracize one person, this person's now feeling this back on themselves. And because they had such a blocked heart space themselves, what they're feeling is too much for them to actually handle. You've got higher learning here, and it says... Melchick, Melchizedek, I don't know if I've pronounced that right, Melchizedek, and it says, 
you have learned from experience more in a study is now required to further progress okay someone here has definitely grown from this experience and can look in hindsight and go well that was a shit show but you know what i'm so glad that happened because now my trajectory has changed my focus has changed and not only is it focusing more on the path that i'm supposed to be on for ascension but also towards myself and you're being encouraged to keep going to go deeper i'm sorry if the light's shining over that one because on the back here you've got inner strength move back to wholeness recognize you have the power this person whoever this person is i don't know if they played around with like basic witchcraft and i had no i heard part of a coven or an online coven I had, these aren't my words, okay? Bitch was new, wet behind the ears. What does that mean? Okay, so they are calling you that. They're saying that your understanding or knowledge of the esoteric, when you knew this this colleague or whoever this is, or if you're going through this now, irrespective of, of gender, that you are almost, you're green, okay? You're a baby when it comes to it. You don't know anything okay and this person's really angry also that they didn't realize who you were and that you know what you can have like me you can have 20 years experience of working with children and think that you're an expert and you can have someone who comes in who's only got five but they have you know they blow you out of the water because wisdom and knowledge as much as we get older we get wiser and we get more knowledgeable it doesn't mean that you don't have people who are younger or people who are less experienced as you who won't pick up information a lot quicker okay and this person here is vexed that they didn't see that and you've got here bridget in i'm going to read it again bridget inner strength move back to wholeness recognize you have the power this person may be projecting how they're feeling right now and i heard yeah they are um and you've also got mercury in reverse now mercury is ruled it rules over um virgo which is the sixth house and it's all to do with communication how you absorb and process information so this person is trying to block something or they're blocked because it says mercury open communication get a weight off your chest speak up with love and be heard oh this person has like some choice words for you but they can't get in contact with you and I heard astrally blocked, astrally blocked. Ooh, and you've got here, Carly Ma facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. This person has blocked themselves in some sort of financial distress. They've stuck themselves. Whatever abundant spells that they were doing to steal other people's joy is what I heard. It stuck them in a certain timeline that isn't beneficial for them. But I heard justice is served. And you've also got ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. You walked away from this. You're ascending. And this came out in my previous reading. You are ascending too quickly for them to be able to grab onto you. And I think that really angers them as well. And it says here, Lady Venus downloads an understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So this person may be trying to block your crown chakra. And I heard no hers or his they're really really blocked well bully for them and bully for them let's see what wants to come out okay, let me see. Oh, let's see what else would like to come out about this work colleague or this work situation nine of michael your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome of your desire you desire release feelings of regret guilt worry to your angels if you're pr if you're presently going through this you're being told that you are protected and what they're doing is being outed and if this is how you felt at the time if you had been speaking to your guides if you had been speaking to your protectors and just being you know asking them for strength to get through this they heard you and they're letting you know don't worry all the stuff that, that was going on back then they're now receiving that back and i heard tenfold because you've got three of michael here release the past you will grow from this situation time heals all wounds now i'm putting this one over here because 
for someone here, if you're still reminiscing over this or if it still ruminates through your mind, this is what, especially what Archangel Michael is letting you know. And if you don't work with Archangel Michael, this is an energy that vibrates at the same frequency as Archangel Michael, which is saying here, you have learned from this experience. More inner study is now um, is now required to, to further pro progress, okay? Do not let this person or this experience take up, you know, space in your heart and your mind rent free. And I know it's easier to say, especially when we, when we have scars and we have wounds, it does take time for us to process that. But you're being told that whoever this person is, if they are trying to project heart space wounds, because that's how they kind of, um, that's how they work, you're being told to dig in, dig deeper in, do those, you know, do your, your heart chakra meditations or whatever it is that you do to help balance yourself. Um, because you've also got here eight of Ariel upside down. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional educational training and it's upside down. So I don't know if someone here is too hard on themselves when it comes to what it is that they create. And the thing is as well, being an artist in any form whatsoever, um, we are our, our worst critic without a doubt. But you're being told, look at this. Page of Ariel, reliable, clever, educated and balanced, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So no matter what, if you are going through this presently or this has happened to you in the past, you're being told the more that you are healing your heart space, you're being congratulated for taking steps to process that and to shine more light on that. But the more that you do that, the more you're opening a door for this beautiful opportunity to be offered to you. Okay, and with Eight of Ariel, this is either about higher knowledge, study, a scholarship, as it said, you know, something to do with educating yourself in certain fields which is going to open up the doors to certain job prospects or abundance. That, that, that person is vexed. I don't know if they know. And I heard, no, they can't. They've tried reading you, but they can't. For some reason, I've got the song from um, Oz in my head. Is it Oz? Wizard of Oz? We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because the wonderful things he does. Follow the yellow brick road. I don't know if this person has had to go and speak to someone else. I heard an oracle because they can't read other people anymore. Now, up or down? This way. Okay. So you've got the four of Raphael, Raphael here. And it says, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So this person, seek out other possibilities. This person is still kind of like gunning towards you. But they it's like they're blind in a dark room they have no way of being able to access you and there also is this stress i had stress and fatigue if they did something to try and mess with your health this is going back towards them and remember i am not a doctor in any way shape or form make sure that you are getting the advice taking that guidance and whatever you know you are prescribed from the doctor for your medical health issues before taking any any advice from here but what i'm getting is whatever they have done energetically is being sent back this may be also why they can't see something might be wrong with their eyes and i heard their third eye tell me more tell me more tell me more na, 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 na. What else would like to come out, please? I'm thanking you. Tell me more about this. Okay, and we've got here, ask your angels for help, for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So this person who had this side hustle literally is having to work double the amount now just to make, just to kind of not even break even. And it says here, nine of Gabriel. St um, stay determined and move forward be prepared for any possibility environmental activism so this is all sacral chakra this is motivation and ambition this is success this is also connected connected to the emotions that we have to our family so there's something here i don't know if this was a family business i don't know if there were siblings working together or cousins working together or something along those lines or if it was just very very clicky in that you know they were like oh you're my sister you're my brother that kind of stuff and you've got queen of Raphael in reverse kind understanding giving and psychic follow your heart a love of home and family trustworthy psychic information this upside down 
so this person could have been like one of their side hustles could have been like those those scammy scammers that are like i'm drawn to you oh my gosh you have a curse on you i would need 500 euros because i have to go and do a sacrifice on a random mountain and you can only use the herbs that are, you know are in my hometown and they give you some random names and then you can find them on ebay and they're only five dollars or something along those lines it's that kind of energy this person is royally f to be quite honest there's something about it's not just to do with their business for failing they have a lot of debt and i don't know if they're finding it hard to find another job because the energy that they have been sending out to others is to steal other people's abundance if that's been sent back to them they're constantly going to be without abundance they're constantly going to be in lack which means they're going to be matching that it's almost like this person is going out and giving out cvs and no one's getting back to them nobody's responding and i heard um how are you so accurate there's an anger coming or frustration coming from this person that you accurately read them or you there's something about when they try to set something up you've already sidestepped it and they don't understand how you can do that or how is it that you'll be able to relay certain information and it says here time to take action great passion for a course instinctively knowing just what to do what were we just saying and that's knight of gabriel uh, confident enthusiastic courageous and charismatic yes bitch. see and it says make a wish dreams become reality a joyful time of life you guys are ascending you're ascending and there's this energy of whatever it is that you're thinking of will manifest and it's going to come in a lot quicker because all of these energy vampires these people trying to put cords into your energy people trying to slow you down they're slowly being swept out of the way so that the path is clear for you i love this i absolutely love it let me get one more card let's have a look see what would like to come out you've got six of ariel upside down let's have a little look at that and it says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart was this up or down and i heard it was both which makes sense because like this is just confirmation that whoever this person is they are losing out majorly majorly so i heard running out of home and hearth because having it upwards like we were saying material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways the more that this path is being cleared for you the quicker these manifestations are coming in i love this for you i absolutely love it okay the chariot so this person may be still trying to block something when it comes to legal terms i want to know more about these legal terms because it says here determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others and it's upside down so this person has definitely got themselves in itself in a stalemate there's something that they have to do or give up and I heard bequeath it to you, okay? Page of Raphael, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So something's definitely coming forward. It's almost like they're dragging their feet, but they, there's something about, and I keep saying there's something about, but it's like the, they're understanding how big and how monstrous this is when it comes to whatever this legal thing is. Because I heard it will clear them out of their bank. They, they, they owe you something. Four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress and it's upside down. Okay, the four of Michael. Ooh, so this person is extremely stressed out. This person is extremely stressed out. Tell me more. And you've got seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. And it's upside down. Someone here needs to continue reclaiming their power. Not just returning to sender, but speaking out across all space, time and dimension. You know, stating that anything that has been stolen, siphoned or taken from you is given back in full. Okay. And it says, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel something is definitely coming in monetary wise and it's coming in from more than one avenue because my readings seem to have a running theme through them and then there will be like standalone ones so this will be you know if you resonate with some of my other readings especially when it comes to things going through the courts inheritance wills and so on and so forth this may actually be another avenue of a multiple stream of income okay 
Now only take that if that resonates. Knight of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic and introspective. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. And that's upside down. Sorry, my phone is ringing. This person is more or less just saying that this person's um, life is falling apart. And the thing is, I don't mock or gloat or anything like that. I just think it's sad that it's taken them till now to realise that you co-create the life that you want. You know, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, anyone that feels moved to leave a donation, it's never expected, but it's always truly appreciated because it means I can put more time, more love and more cards into this wonderful channel. And anyone that would like to have a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box down below. If you go to the second paragraph down, there's a row of um, blue arrows pointing up, up, up. And I have two emails there. Just pop me over an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Anyone that is interested in the raffle to have a lovely live reading with me, have a look down the bottom to see what numbers are left and then just PayPal me with whatever tickets you would like to get. But with that being said, I hope you have a really wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll check you later. Bye.